Think Celebrity Deathmatch meets your favorite cookies. I like it. Hello and welcome to another video. Today we have a metric ton of Oreos here. And what are we doing with them, Carly? We're making a Franken Oreo. That's right, we've got every single Oreo flavor we could find and we're gonna be combining them into one single Franken Oreo, but with a little twist. Yeah. We're gonna be turning this into a little competition we've dubbed the Frank Off. Which is basically a Franken experiment, but Tyler and I have differing opinions on how we should approach it. So we're gonna try out both methods separately and then come back together at the end to see which one was better. And my approach is sort of the more conventional one where I'm gonna be deconstructing every Oreo. I'm gonna be separating the cookies and the creams and then making a Franken cookie and a Franken cream and then sandwiching them back together. And my chosen method is the unconventional but potentially tastier method, which is to make a Franken cookies and cream ice cream by crushing all the Oreos together as the cookies in a homemade ice cream. Because I figured the cookies and cream ice cream already features the Oreo, so let's Frankenize that. So we've got 18 different flavors of Oreo here, so let's see who can make the best Franken Oreo. All right, let's Franken. So for this test, we're gonna be trying each of the Oreos first. My thought is this might help us train our palates to search for different flavors in our final Franken concoction. And I will say, these flavors get pretty out there. And our first flavor is of course, the classic Oreo. First Oreo of the day. Cheers. Cheers. I mean, it's good. Classic. Can't knock a classic. Mm, have not improved on the Oreo. Well, I guess the question is, has Oreo improved on the Oreo? It's a tall order. Now, just to keep things simple, we're gonna show you guys us franking the Oreos as we taste them, just so we don't show you all the Oreos three times. So this is the Tyler assembly line. Yeah. We have all the Oreos over there, which are gonna get passed to me. I'm gonna take one Oreo out, chop it in half, and take that half and put it into a Ziploc bag over here. And at the end, I'm gonna smash them. Smash them all into one Franken Oreo cookies and cream thing that you can put into the ice cream. Batter? Dusting. Crust. Dust. Topping? No, that's not kind Mix of- Mixin. 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 Like Cold Stone. And then for Sophia's method. I'm gonna start off by separating all of my cookies into cookies and cream. Ooh, that was a clean one. I'm gonna put my cream into like one Pyrex little bowl. <laughs> a little flop, a little plop. And then put my cookies straight into the blender. Bloop, for future blending purposes. Sounds right. Sounds right in theory, but wrong as a Franken. I mean, flavor-wise. <laughs> and that's generally our plan. Frank on, Frank off, Frank on. Frank off. All right, so back to the Oreos in the classic category. Next up, we have gluten-free. We'll see how close they got to that original. Cheers. Mm. A little crunchier. I was gonna say, very crunchy. Mm. Love it. Pretty good. I was kinda expecting that to be a little bit less good, but. Still pretty good. Solid. Oh, this is not gonna come off that nicely. Oh, why? Why have you done this to me? Okay, goodbye. All right, next up we got golden. I love gold. <laughs> this is like the vanilla Oreo. Yeah, it's like a blondie. Very sweet. It's sweet. Good though. You like that? But I feel like it could cloy. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Not the cleanest, not my best work. And to finish out the classics, we have mint. Mint? Fossil, fossil. I do like that. That's good. Let me tell you something. That's a different vector than the original, but that's good. This is, um, this is something to write home about. Aha! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's lifting up. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. How beautiful. Then we have three chocolatey ones, starting off with chocolate. That's a revelation. It's a very solid cookie. I'm tasting a lot of the traditional Oreo flavors, but just a little bit richer and deeper. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's better than the mint. Yeah, I mean, when Robert California says they haven't ever really proved on the Oreo, again- They might have here. Did they consider all the Oreo options? I think that was very good. That's the sexiest damn thing I've ever seen. Close to it. Next up, we have dark chocolate. Oh, whoa, those are really whoa. dark, yeah. They're like matte. It's kind of like a black business card with black ink. Yeah, it's American Express black card. It's just super hard to read. To me, the cream in that tastes the same as the cookie. Yeah. So it's just like one flavor throughout. I like it. That's a good, that's a good cookie. Oh, this one's soft. It's lifting off nicely though. Oh, it slid off. All right, now we're going to ultimate chocolate. We've had chocolate, dark chocolate, ultimate chocolate. Ultimate chocolate, extreme chocolate, <laughs> X Games chocolate edition. <laughs> you don't like that? No, I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is chocolate will f you up. I like it. Yeah. I, I'm sold. <laughs> Put me in, coach, I'm sold. <laughs> then we have three nutty ones, starting with chocolate hazelnut. Almost like your Nutella route here. Yeah. 
Oh! That cookie was a little crunchy. That's really hazelnutty. Oh, yeah. Next up, we have peanut butter. Oh, that's pretty strong. It's very peanut butter. It's a very potent flavor. Yeah. Oh, that was nice and smooth. Now, next up, we have chocolate peanut butter pie. And this is one of the cases that I cracked open the last couple weeks and tried. Oh, yeah. It's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm curious to see what you think on this one. Squirrels are two gardeners, as Tyler is to Carly. Yes, yeah. Because Carly's had all these boxes, and Tyler's just been, like, systematically opening boxes and taking, like, one or two or four. You can't just put all these Oreos in the apartment with me. That's dangerous. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Yeah, look at that stale Oreo. <laughs> Love it. What do you think of that? I don't think I like it. No, I know, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to influence your opinion, but that one's weird. Oh, I thought you liked it. I ate like five or six of them, oh, I hated okay. it. <laughs> he, he tried to get me to eat one too. <laughs> but I assumed you told me that because you liked it, not no. because you didn't like it. I've eaten five of these. Carly, you should try it. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I was trying to get Carly to agree with me that it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> then we have two candy-ish ones, starting with chocolate marshmallow. It kind of tastes like um, if you consumed a dry Swiss Miss packet. You know what I mean, the ones that have marshmallows in it? That's a good description, yeah. yeah. Flip your pancake. Ooh, yeah. Uh, this one is toffee crunch. Ooh. Sounds kind of like a, an old-fashioned flavor, don't you think? Toffee, oh, pip pip cheerio, toffee. It's a nice little toffee, yes. It was cracked. It was cracked just like I am. Say crack. <laughs> Say crack again. Crack. Crack. <laughs> then we have two caramel ones, starting with caramel coconut. Oh, wow. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm confused because that made it seem like it was a fresh packet, but this is destroyed. Like? It, is fre it is a fresh packet. <laughs> this is our only Amazon cookie. That is Jeffrey Bezos. He did that to us. That one I think is really good though. I think caramel and coconut, they're not a match made in heaven to me on the surface, but they're a good match. Goodbye. And then we have mocha caramel latte. Oh, a lot of flavor. That's good. You know what The coffee cuts it a little bit. A little more bitter than what we've been operating in recently. I like it. Beautiful. Come again. You rang. This has been going impressively fast. Listen, you want a job done, you gotta call the expert, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now we have three holiday flavors, starting with carrot cake, which is another one that I actually cracked open as well. I, I'm just kidding. I thought this one was disgusting, but I'm gonna, <laughs> let's see what you think of this. This one's pretty fragrant. Spicy. Yeah. Smells like a Michael's. Oh. <laughs> I don't think I like that. Then we have birthday cake. Ooh, whoa. Yeah. Whoa! It's, it's pretty, this one, this one's a kick. This Why one's a does kick. it smell like Nestle strawberry milk? Oh, it does. No, it doesn't taste like that. It's disgusting. This one's a bit softer than some of the other creams. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's pretty good, though. Yeah, well, I do know how to do this, so. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and then we have firework. This one has popping candy in it. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, I got some crunch. I'm crunching on some crystals. It's not pop, oh. Oh, it is popping, oh! <laughs> can you feel it? Yeah. Yo! Oh. Oh. Pop rocks dynamics. It's still happening. Yeah. I can hear it inside my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes good though. <laughs> and then finally we have lemon, which is just by itself. Tarty and delicious. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh oh, this one's, this one's a bad one, guys. We're ending with not a bang. Oh. Oh. That's awful. Oh my god, this cookie this cookie's gone. The cook this cookie is going, going, gone. Come on. Stay with me. Hang in there. There we go. There we go. Clean cookie. Yeah. Boom. All right, so that's all 18 Oreos. Tasted separated and in a Ziploc bag. And now we're gonna go ahead with my method. So now what we're gonna do is take a rolling pin and mash them up. Ready? Yes. Ooh, that was satisfying to see those ones get squished. Yeah, so the, the creams are sticking to the bag a little bit. A bit of a flaw in your concept, huh? How dare you? Looks like soil. It does have soil vibes. But it's almost like worms, gum, worms and dirt. Dirt and worms, that's a thing. Yeah, right, you make that. That's Oreos and uh, gummy worms. It smells good. As I'm standing over it, I'm getting coffee and lemon. You smell, you smell. You getting dominant sense of mocha. Don't you think? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of that mocha. And I'm also getting the mint as well. Coffee, butterscotch, which is not in there, but it's kind of like toffee-ish. Lemon, mint. Yeah. And now that we have my cookie dirt, it's time to make the cream. So I need to make some vanilla ice cream from scratch. Yeah. First, I'm gonna combine a cup and a half of whole milk, one cup of granulated sugar. Oh, that looks good. Oh. You nailed that. Yep. Thanks, man. 
and a pinch of kosher salt, tiny measuring spoon. What is this? Ice cream for ants? And then I'm gonna mix them together on low speed. Beautiful. Then I'm gonna stir in two and a half cups of heavy cream and a half to one tablespoon of vanilla. I don't know, Tyler. I don't know if this looks like an Oreo to me. This is gonna get really ugly. <laughs> this is a really ugly competition. You better watch out. You know what a little birdie told me? You can't even read. I can't read, <laughs> but I have, but I have oh, Silver oh. Carl here, okay, and Carly can help me. I can't read either. Carly can, <laughs> Carly can't read either. <laughs> I'm then gonna cover that up and refrigerate that for at least two hours. Sophia, this is your competitor right here. This is my champion. Choose your fighter. Do, 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 do. All right, it's time to get our mixture out of the fridge. Oh, I'm gonna whisk it real quick. Just recombining it a little bit and then pour it into the ice cream maker. Okay, let me get that last little bit. We're gonna leave it in there for about 40 minutes until it's thickened. Oh yeah. And then we're gonna add in our Oreo mixture. All right, so our ice cream machine overflowed a little bit um, and it's also very thick now. So I think it's done actually. So what we're gonna do is take out the ice cream. Okay, I'm gonna try to dole from this into there. Perfect. Okay, it was very creamy. And then just mix it by hand with our Oreo concoction. All right, ready? Yes. And cookies and creamify this. Ooh. <laughs> looks pretty great. It looks good. Oh, yes. Okay, so now that it's mixed together, I'm gonna cap it and put it in the freezer, but let's do a quick smell test. Smell it, you coward. I'm getting hints of mint, but it also smells a lot of ice cream. So maybe my, my taste buds will give me more of an indication of what won the Franken battle in there. Congratulations, you made mint chocolate chip. Hey, I'll take that as a W. All right, now it's my turn again, and we're gonna start by microwaving the creams. Yeah, I'm getting some big hard-boiled egg vibes at the top here. That's because it's got the two, like, funfetti and firework ones, and then the yolk in the middle. Farewell, friends. You're going to a better place. Go for it. It's melted at the bottom. I'm gonna mix it and then re-melt it. If we have to. Oh, it's going. Oh, it's soft. Oh, the green. Oh, I see it. Oh, I smell the mint. After the green was mixed in, I smell the mint. Nice batter. And then I'm gonna lay it out on this wax paper in like almost a, a sheet, a sheet of cream, if you will. I'm just spreading it a little bit thinner. I still, I want it to be nice and thick, but I feel like that seems good. It looks good from here. So now that I have my Franken cream, let's put it in the fridge, shall we? It's fridge time for like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. It's fridge time. 15 to 20. 15 to 20 minutes. Then I'm going to blend all of my cookies together. Whoa! <laughs> Why did that scare me? I knew it was gonna happen. There's one full cookie just dancing. <laughs> Battle Royale cookie edition. I declare the winner the Frank off complete. That looks pretty good. That looks very blended. Yeah, it smells like mint and coffee to me. It looks like soil. All right, so now I'm going to melt some butter to add to our thank you, our Franken dust, our Franken crumble, if you will, and mix. All right, now it's wet. Yeah. Wet dirt. Mmm. Finger looking good. Then I'm gonna press that mixture into one of our fancy silicone Oreo cookie molds. Damn! Get in there. Get in there. Looks good. How does that look, Carly? It looks good. I don't know if you just wanna like use like the heel of your hand to press so you yeah. can get the Oreo print oh, on there. Oh yeah, I will. Ooh. I'm just squeezing that butter right out of there. That's good. That's gonna be more effective. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Ah, oh yeah, you can see that. Probably a little dab to get rid of that butter. <laughs> I'm just dabbing it off a little. It's a little oily. All right, so now I'm gonna put my cookies in the fridge and take out my cream. That looks pretty good. A little streaky. Looks good to me. All right, so now we're gonna be using our Arby's vodka shot glass to cut out a freaking cream. I'm just gonna do a couple. Just to have his backup. Just yeah. to have them. Come on. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh good. Did I make it too thick? Perhaps. Double stuffed. All right. They're a little bit stuck to the wax paper, so I'm gonna have to like siphon them off. But overall, this is looking good. Perfect. Those are great. All right. Those are four Franken creams. So now I'm gonna demold my cookies. Yes. It's not ready. Oh, okay, yeah, it's ready. Are you ready? Yep. All right, show me. Ooh! That's a Franken Oreo. That looks good. Oh, damn, that's really good. That looks good. This is the competition. Not feeling so confident now, huh? Are you gonna be a sore winner? All right, <laughs> uh, you wanna go add your frosting? All right, I'm going for it. And with that, we have the Franken Oreo. Whoa, 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 a rendition of a Franken Oreo. Ah, it's sliding. It's buttery. 
Here's the only problem with that is that Oreo cookies are pretty crunchy and dry, and this one might be like a little soggy. Grainy and soggy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really upsell on this thing. <laughs> you do sort of see an interesting, not gradient, but just like variation in the cookie. The cream is much more uniform, but it, it looks nice. It looks amazing. It looks nice overall. Actually just smells like an Oreo mostly at this point. <laughs> Very Oreo heavy, a, a hint of mocha. Nothing distinct in terms of scent, but we'll see how it tastes. I think it might be time to get Tyler's ice cream out here. Ah, uh, she blows. And we'll see who the true winner is. Oh, uh, we're gonna find out very soon. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Why are we talking so quietly? I don't know, why are we whispering? Ooh. Looks like ice cream to me. It looks really good. Fortunately, it doesn't look like an Oreo, but it looks like ice cream to me. <laughs> there are Oreos in it, okay? <laughs> okay, let me scoop some. Oh, that actually looks like it's scooping pretty nicely. Ready? You can release it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, almost missed the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> rocking around in there. <laughs> I think we should probably taste yours first. Save the best for last. Oh, wow. I think you're trying to be uh, courteous and say yours could melt, but okay. <laughs> that was about to come out of my mouth and then I thought better of it. Ah. Yeah. Oh, the texture is good though. Yeah, I got some uh, cookie crunch as I scooped. Ready? Cheers. Bite. Holy <laughs> <laughs> This is the greatest ice cream ever. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Okay, this is not fair. This is enhanced. <laughs> because the ice cream base has its own flavor. It mm. tastes good. It tastes mm -hmm. like vanilla ice cream, like really nice homemade vanilla ice cream. Mint there. I got some mint there. I also got mint in my bite. Big time mint. Oh, a dash of cinnamon <laughs> just appeared. Oh, I got some cinnamon on that bite. Right, like at the end. Ooh. There's something salty. Was that the toffee? I think the toffee's winning a little bit in there. No chocolate and also not a lot of, um, of that mocha flavor we were talking no about. No mocha. No coffee. Mocha is a dominant scent. Yeah. This is so freaking good though. I can't put it down. The flavor is is exquisite. I'll yeah. give you that. All right, let's get a new bowl and a scoop a scoop for Silver Carl. Carly, from behind the cam, tell us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly just taste the cookie part. Like it just mm. tastes like cookies and cream to me. <laughs> Literally All right. just tastes cookie. That is a condemnation. <laughs> that's, that's pretty bad. Oh, I taste the mint now. Okay, there's mint, there's mint. Is that a courtesy mint? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Something else? That tastes like big red. <laughs> I'm cinnamon. I'm telling you, the aftertaste is cinnamon. Well, I guess we'll see how mine tastes. Let's right? taste yours. We have no idea. Yeah. Mine will definitely taste worse because it's like a single greasy Oreo. <laughs> but uh, I have to get some points for like form. I was really confident until yours tasted pretty good. There we go. You did make like a whole batch of ice cream and I have like a single Oreo cookie. I should have, maybe I should have made more. I didn't even think about that. We should have made just a giant one. Next time. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Frank and Girl Scout cookie, we'll do that. <laughs> Cheers. Ready? It's got a lot of flavor. That's a really good frosting. That's good. Okay. That's good as f <laughs> Don't come and tell me <laughs> that, is, that that's not that good. That is awesome tasting. Oh man. And it's at, and that was an organic double stuff too. Like a lot of frosting. I do taste the mint. Yeah. I taste the mocha. It's like a peppermint mocha. Are you getting some of that toffee or am I just convincing myself it's there? There is a little bit of a sweet and salty taste in it. The butter. The Could be the butter. I think the butter helped. All right. A lot of different elements and hints in there. Carly's coming in. The Carly taste test. Oh. <laughs> it tastes like an Oreo. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Nothing else? It's minty, but I, I actually like that it was mushy. Like, right, I, the mushy. I like the mushy. The mushy, buttery cookie is an interesting arena that maybe Oreo should play with. All right, so those are the facts. Those are the cold, hard facts, people. Let's hear who you guys think is the winner in the comments below. Is it my Franken cookies and cream or Saf's soggy single cookie? Hey! If you like that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this one, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here are our various social media things, handles. Here's our merch website. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you guys next time. What? That one's really stale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And whose fault is that? <laughs>